What's the most important thing when it comes to succeeding in Dokkan? And no, I'm not talking about being lucky. I'm talking about categories. Categories are one of the most important things to look at when playing Dokkan. It can show you who to summon for and who to build your team around. So in this video, I'm going to give you the five current strongest categories in Dokkan. Starting off with number five, it's going to have to be Super Saiyans. I was going to say movie heroes or superheroes at first, but recently we haven't gotten many units from those two categories. Ever since the LR Trio came out, this category has become a lot more viable in endgame content, and even though there aren't a wide array of amazing cards in this category, there are a handful of teams that you can make with the amazing amount of cards who are actually usable. Fortunately, by nature, there will always be many super saiyan cards in this game so it makes it very easy to build a team for this category and makes it a pretty beginner friendly category also almost every super saiyan card links well with other super saiyan cards and makes it this an easy to use team with an insane damage potential so super saiyans are number five for their amazing damage team cohesion and simplicity moving on to number four is gonna have to go to future saga Recently, with the worldwide download celebration, this category got some of the most amazing units in the game that I mentioned a few of in my last video of the best LRs in the game. Basically, this category includes most of the best cards in the game who have amazing kits and also have a great link set. Future Saga also has some of the best EZA cards in the game like Tech VB and In Future Gohan and the debatable Tech Sword of Hope Trunks who takes a few turns to build up but is a very fun card to use. So because of its relevance in the meta right now, Future Saga is number 4. Next, we have number 3. I'd say the bond of parent and child category is the next pick and it's pretty much all thanks to LR Vegeta and Trunks and the fact that so many cards are in this category for no reason at all. Literally there are so many amazing cards to choose from on this team as well as the fact that there are support options even though it may not be necessary since the cards on this category are so damn good but it is an extra bonus to have that option. Number 3 goes to Bond of Parent and Child because I think it's literally one of the most populated categories and allows for a lot of versatility since you don't have to restrict yourself like many other teams who cannot really succeed without their core components. Having Trunks and Vegeta as the leader of this category also gives you Future Saga with a 170% as a bonus which basically allows for an even more stacked team considering that's where most of the newest cards are from. And ultimately, we have Power of Wishes, a phenomenal category that contains many of the best units and is also able to run the Goat of Dokkan, LR Bulma. Aside many of the most recent and best cards like Godku, Orange Piccolo, and the 8th Anniversary units, and even includes SSJ4 Full Power Goku. This just means you have the best cards in the game, with the best revive skill in the game, with the best support in the game, all on one team. So there's not really much more to be said, but if you're curious about the cards I just mentioned and why they are so good aside from Godku, please check out my top 5 LRs video for a more in-depth look at how good these cards can be, especially if they can work together on a team with Bulma. Also, I will be making a top 2 URs video this weekend hopefully, so look out for that. And last but certainly not least, we have Earthbred Fighters, the GOAT category in my humble opinion. This category is led by one of the strongest cards in the game and that automatically skyrockets its ranking. The leader is... 23rd World Tournament Goku and this team is so insane because it includes all of the best cards in the game and pretty much all of the other cards I have mentioned here today except for Vegeta and Trunks but that does not hold this team back at all. You can run so many insane cards on this team that it, it's kind of unfair. The only thing you have to look out for is the fact that with the ability to run this many cards you have to manage your link skills accordingly and make sure these cards actually get along and help each other instead of just trying to steal the spotlight from each other. Earthbred Fighters also contains Bulma and as an added bonus, 23rd World Tournament Goku's leader skill also includes the GT duo who otherwise wouldn't be on the team because Vegeta is unfortunately not from Earth. Sorry if that's biased, but I'm giving that as a bonus point. This is my personal favorite category team to run for Mirza Masu since I think it's the only team that can somewhat consistently beat this insane red zone. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys are feeling informed now and I better be seeing all the comments full of people beating Mirza Masu now. Hopefully I've convinced you to stick around and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.